So if you clicked on this video, you are most likely experiencing delays when editing clips in Adobe Premiere Pro like this. As you can see, the audio delay in the video is so very little, but it's still noticeable and ruins your video. Despite the audio not being synced, you go to check the timeline and see that the audio is perfectly synced, so what do you do in this scenario? By this point, you probably have hours and hours of content, and re-recording is not an option. Well, thankfully for you, I have a free fix, and in this video, I'll be going over an easy guide on how to fix the Adobe Premiere Pro audio not syncing with video, so without further ado, let's just straight into this video. So before we get into the fix, I want to talk a little bit about why this problem exactly happens with Adobe Premiere Pro. So the reason this problem occurs is because of the frame rate of your video. And at the end of the day, it has to do with Adobe Premiere Pro not supporting the frame rate that your video is using. Now you would think for $20 a month you wouldn't have this problem when editing, but it happens a lot more than you think. I say this while editing this exact video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Anyways, the reason this problem happens is because your video is most likely using variable frame rate. Variable frame rate is a type of frame rate that a lot of recording softwares use and is fairly common. Unfortunately for Adobe, variable frame rate is not supported in the software. So instead, you will have to use a different type of frame rate called constant frame rate. Now one fix would be to record in constant frame rate instead of variable frame rate. But by this point, you probably recorded all your clips, so what exactly do you do in this scenario? Well, thankfully, there is an easy and free simple fix. So the first thing you want to do is go to your preferred web browser and look up Handbrake. As always, I will have a link in the description going to the exact website. Click on the first thing that pops up and press download Handbrake and the download should start. Run the installation process and boom, you just have completed step one. Once you finish installing the software, open the application and drag the video you were having trouble with into the software. Step three, you're going to want to configure settings and Handbrake to your liking. Although there is one certain setting you need to change that I will go over in a second. So the first thing you want to do is put your preset to whatever your video is. So if your video is 1080p, put it to 1080p, and if your video is 4K, put it to 4K. The next thing you want to do is go to your dimensions tab and make sure everything is to your liking. I recommend making sure cropping is off unless you want to crop your video. Also here I'd recommend making sure your video is the correct resolution. Once you've done that, go over to the video section and this is the most important part. So the first thing you are going to want to do is go to frame rate and put same as source. You want to make sure you do this because if you put something lower you will make your video have a lower frame rate. The next thing you want to do is go to your video encoder and I'd recommend using H.264 or H.265. Once you've done that, the most important settings you will have to change is variable frame rate to constant frame rate or peak frame rate to constant frame rate. This is the most important step because once you've done this, your audio will be synced with your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Once you've done that, all you're going to want to do now is go to quality and drag it all the way up to place mode and make sure you don't lose any quality in your video. Once you've done that, all you're going to want to do is press start encode and your video will begin exporting. You don't have to worry about the preset of the encoder. Once you're finished the encode, all you're going to want to do is go to your videos in your file explorer and boom, the video is right there. Now all you want to do is drag it back onto your Adobe timeline and it should be fixed. Anyways, that should have fixed your video. If you have any issues with Handbrake, please leave it in the comments below and I will be happy to help. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.